What's up everybody? Welcome to today's quick for a round of 50 things, yes, 50 things that I no longer buy or use as a zero waste minimalist. Now I'm going to try and keep this video as brief as possible because we have a lot of stuff to get through. So I'm going to break it up into a number of different categories just to make the list really nice and easy and simple to follow. Now don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what are some of the things that you have stopped buying on your sustainability journey. And with that said, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, let's talk personal care. Some of the things that I no longer buy include traditional deodorants, which are not only bad for the environment, but also have been linked to poor health. Plastic toothbrushes. Thousands of plastic toothbrushes per year end up in landfill. And hey, if we can have one less toothbrush going to landfill, then that is a win for me. Bottled shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This is one of the simplest swaps to make. And if you haven't seen my video on Ethic, then I would check that video out for my review on zero waste hair care. Plastic shower puffs. Face cloths do a perfectly good job. Disposable plastic floss. Tiver floss is a compostable vegan solution. Makeup items beyond the essential. I have a really simple makeup bag. It literally consists of just the things that you see ahead of you here and it has happily done my face for the day today. So do I need more than what I have? Absolutely not. Traditional nail varnishes, very bad for the environment in themselves, and also nail varnish remover can be really, really harmful to the environment. Popular cleansing lotions. I use coconut oil or I use simple makeup remover oil to remove my makeup. And that also means that I do not have to buy cotton wool anymore. Cotton wool is not recyclable and not compostable. Lotions, potions, and body creams. I have even stopped asking for these as gifts because I simply don't use them. Any product that is tested on animals. I use the app Cruelty Cutter to help me make good choices. This applies across the board from cleaners to cosmetics to food items. Now let's move on to the kitchen. Kitchen sponges, completely unnecessary unless you are using a loofah sponge. We opt for hardwearing brushes instead. Kitchen paper or kitchen towels, absolutely no reason why a cloth can't do the same job. Chemical cleaning products, again this applies across the board, not only in the kitchen but also in the bathroom and general areas of the house. Vinegar works really well and stay tuned for my video on zero waste cleaning products, the natural way. Plastic wrap, one of the banes of my life. Beeswax wraps, lunch boxes work brilliantly for leftover food storage. Disinfectant wipes, probably one of the most commonly used single use items. No go in our house. Washing powder, we no longer use traditional detergent. If you've missed my video on how to make your own washing powder, I will leave a link to that in the description box below and also in a card above my head. Popular washing up liquid. Did you know that traditional washing up liquids are harmful to aquatic life if they are released into the environment? There are a ton of great eco-friendly alternatives. Kitchen gadgets that I do not need. Now, of course, some people do need gadgets to help them in their everyday lives. That is totally understandable. Moving on to food shopping. Groceries, one of my absolute favorite things but a really wasteful space if you don't know the tricks to look out for. So the first thing that I avoid when food shopping is plastic bags. No, no, bring your own. Shop bought bread, jams, and preserves. Again, I have links to all of these videos and I will leave them in the description box below. Bread and jam are honestly some of my favorite things to make and they avoid a ton of waste. All meat products. Being a vegetarian is very much a personal choice, but if you haven't seen my video where I outline the statistics associated with being a vegetarian, again, I will leave that in the description box below. Bottled water and drinks. I think a really great alternative to these is to use cans as they are so much more easily recycled and avoid plastic waste. Also, carrying your own water bottle will save you a ton of money in the long run. Cereal, surprising, I know, but I opt to have a bowl of porridge or oatmeal every single morning instead, and the bag is 
fully recyclable. Packaged fruit and veg. I am so happy to see that so many supermarkets out there are providing loose fruit and veg so that we can avoid all of that nasty plastic packaging. Lunch boxes and containers unless I really need them. The amount that I already have works fine for storing the amount of food that we have here and if I use jars they work perfectly well as food storage containers. Coffee pods. Probably one of the best investments we ever made was to buy a good coffee machine that allows us to turn beans into ground coffee granules. This works brilliant because I personally love to use the leftover granules, A, by putting them in the compost bin, or B, using them as a lovely, luxurious coffee scrub. Convenience foods. Sometimes we need to grab something on the go, but if at all possible, I always try to cook at home and avoid pre-packaged and processed convenience foods, which do unfortunately come with a ton of packaging. Next, clothing. We all love clothes, but the problem is the fast fashion industry is causing us a ton of problems today. So one of the easiest things that you can actually stop buying is pajamas. Realistically, you probably need one or two pairs in your life. Tote bags. Once you have one or two totes in your life, you really don't need any more, although some of them are really, really cute. Unnecessary clothing. I might buy one or two new outfits per year if I have a big event coming up, but for the most part, I thrift or I upcycle what I currently own. Gym gear beyond your essentials. Now, as somebody who loves to go to the gym, I know this one can be tough, but you do not need 14 different outfits for your weekly gym sessions. Accessories, bags, hats, shoes, belts. What I buy, I use again and again, and I make sure that they are super functional, and that helps me to maintain a minimalist wardrobe. Next up, luxury items. Yes, those luxuries, which I do still enjoy, I just enjoy them in a different way. The first one being takeaway coffee. I do not buy coffee that comes in a takeaway cup anymore. Quick service lunch. Again, sometimes we need this, but if at all possible, I will bring my own lunch because this avoids any of the unnecessary packaging that's associated with not eating in a restaurant. Plastic cutlery. It sounds a bit strange, but it is really easy to pop a stainless steel set of cutlery into your handbag or your bag so that you have them all the time. Jewelry. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you've probably noticed that I wear the exact same jewelry in every single video. This watch really gets its wear. Have a couple of really good quality pieces in your collection that will stand you the test of time. The latest gadgets. Now maybe I'm lucky that I'm not super techie anyway, but I do not rush out to buy the latest gadgets. Candles. I used to be somebody who absolutely adored burning candles. Instead, I opt to make my own beeswax candle video coming very, very soon or I opt to burn essential oils in my diffuser. CDs, movies, and books. Now, if you are a collector of these items, more power to you, go for it. But for me, I really enjoy using online services, and linked with that then is newspaper and magazines. Online subscriptions suit me really well. Wrapping paper and gift wrap. There are some really creative DIY ways to wrap gifts without all of that packaging waste and onto our miscellaneous or full random things category. Balloons, poppers, confetti, party items, no, no. They are the epitome of single use items. And that links with disposable party items like paper plates, paper cutlery, sashes, no. Beer that is sold with plastic ring attached. It's really easy to buy cans of beer in boxes or even to buy bottles instead. Plush teddy bears. I feel like the collection that I have now represents a time in my life where I absolutely loved to collect these things and now that's perfectly fine to stay as it is. Free stuff. Who doesn't love free stuff? But at the end of the day, you're just bringing more waste into your home. Souvenirs. Things that you will forget about in five years from that holiday. But what will you still have? You will still have memories and you will still have tons of pictures. Instead of buying loads of souvenirs, spend that money on an extra holiday experience. Stationery. Notebooks, pens, the whole shebang. I absolutely adore cute stationery, but unfortunately, I only tend to use one or two pages, and so now I don't buy them anymore. All right, everybody, that brings me to the end of my 50 things that I no longer buy as a zero waste minimalist. I find that these things have really made a difference to my life, and not only in the amount of stuff that I own, but also in keeping a clutter-free space and ensuring that I no longer contribute to environmental waste. 
If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. And let me know in the comment section, has this inspired you to stop buying anything? Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!